Good morning. Good morning. How are you? How are you? It's so nice to have you here with me today. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Just fine. How do you? How do you do? Hello. Good day. Now that we're together, learning so much fun. The more of us are better. So come on, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Just fine. How do you? How do you do? Hello. Good day. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Sunny School Cruise Ship. I am Captain Jahara, and I am Auntie Lavon. This morning, we would like all hands on deck for our morning prayer by our junior sailor, D.M. Our loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for loving us. Bless all the children who are watching our Sunday school service today. Thank you for keeping us safe from harm and from the deadly virus. Help us to read our Bibles and pray and get closer to you every day. I pray that you protect and provide for all the children of this nation and our families. Bless everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. And now, boys and girls, we are going to have a very special song called the B-I-B-L-E. Family Tree, based on Matthew 1, 1 to 25. Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? My good friend Finn will be dropping by today to tell us about a special project he has been working on. There was a time that he could help people count their money and do all kinds of things and go here, there, and everything, and, you know, yeah. Hold up there, my friend. That is not what I am here to talk about today. In fact, what I want to talk about is so much more exciting. Oh, yeah? What is that? Well, I was actually trying to figure out where the family of this boy that they are talking about came from. Why would you want to do that? 
That sounds so boring. Wouldn't you want to know who your family was? To know if you can be famous and popular like he is? Yeah, sure, I guess so. Uh, is there a way to find that out? Well, I am glad that you asked. <laughs> I started to ask around and found out that his ancestors went way back to Abraham. That is 14 plus 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 14 equaling 42 generations. I always remember singing the song. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. Yes, me too. Oh, wow, that is awesome. That is a lot of generations, but what does that have to do with me? Well, if we find out about our family, we might be able to find out about our great, 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 great grandparents. Wouldn't you want to know? I sure think I am important. You know, I never thought of it that way. Want to know what else I found out? No. Tell me. That Mary is the one that is carrying this famous child. Which Mary? That young girl from Bethlehem? I didn't know that she and Joseph got married already. No. They, they are still engaged. You mean to tell me that he got her pregnant? <gasps> no, no, no. Actually, an angel appeared to her and told her that she was chosen by God to give birth to the child through the Holy Spirit. Oh, no. Now, wait a minute. You mean to tell me that Joseph is not the father of her baby? Exactly. I bet Joseph was upset and got rid of her. Well, that is just it. Uh, he was upset and wanted to, but the same angel told him that Mary was not lying and that he should still marry her and be there for her. Wow, that must be hard for them. And they are so young. Yeah, you know, right? But they are giving birth to a king and people are saying that the little boy will be the savior of the world and save people from their sins. King? Savior? Oh, wow. I wonder what Herod thinks about that. Well, he is going crazy at the moment, so we must go to Bethlehem and hear more about this baby Jesus. Yes, I think we should. We will go on an adventure. Yeah, some people are already planning to go and see him. Uh, do you think we should carry a gift? Nope. Lots of people will be bringing him gifts. Well, you heard that, boys and girls. We will be sailing to Bethlehem to learn more about this famous baby. Join us again next week as we explore what is happening in the little town of Bethlehem. I think I'm going to look for my best outfit and try out my English accent. After all, we are going to meet a king. I do believe you are spot on, dear friend. Spot on, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Rather. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Jolly good show. Jolly good show. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Jahara. I am Sela Kai, and I will be reading Matthew chapter 1, verse 23. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. I would now like to introduce you to our Cruise Craft Corner. So get out your scissors and your glue. We're going to have some fun sticking and cutting. Okay, boys and girls, welcome to Cruise Craft Corner. This morning, we're going to make a family tree. But first, there are a few important things you must do. You must first ask mommy or daddy of all the members in your family. Then, 
you would need a few items like colorful paper, brown, green, and any color you like. Then some glue, liquid, or stick, a marker, a pencil, and a scissors. You'll then need some white paper where you can write family tree to the top, any how you like. You can also name it my family tree. You'll need some pink paper if you want to put flowers on the tree. And it's going to look like this. You must also have some white paper. First thing we're going to do is cut out our tree trunk. You take a brown paper, fold it in half, and I'm going to show you how you construct the tree. You can come up with the trunk and then you make your branches any how you like. According to your family, that's the amount of branches you're going to make. You take your scissors and you cut from on one side And there you go. Remember to get a little plastic bag for all the extra paper. Now you get some glue. You take some glue and you paste it on your tree all over your branches and you stick on your white paper. Now you have two options. You can make your leaves with green paper you fold once, twice, three times, and you draw your leaf once by going around and then around. You cut out. Ta-da! Leaves. You can choose your leaves to write your family's name on and stick them on your branches or you can decorate with your leaves and flowers and take white paper white paper cut them like these write your family's name on it and stick them all over the tree you can also use your excess paper excess green paper and make grass to the bottom of the tree how do we make these flowers to decorate your tree? Any color you like, you take a square piece of paper, you fold once in a triangle, make another triangle, make sure it's even, you make another triangle, and then you hold the end and you cut around, like a half of circle, go around. When you're finished, open up you can take a yellow piece of paper and you cut out a circle like this and stick to the middle flower and there we have beautiful flowers now let's put our tree together first we're going to put our grandmother's and grandfather's name remember you are writing your grandmother and your grandfather's name so you put them first to the bottom of the tree then we have the mother and the father. We have aunts and uncles, cousins, if you have any cousins, and the child. Remember, if you have brothers and sisters, you're putting your name, your brothers and your sister's name on the tree. This is your family. So you can customize your family tree however you like to make it perfect. You can add flowers. You can even add more leaves on your tree. Remember, you can take your extra green paper and put some grass to the bottom of the tree. And there you have it guys, your family tree. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me at our Sunday School's Cruise Craft Corner. We hope you had lots of fun joining me in creating this family tree. Bye, hope to see you again. 
our Sunday School cruise ship will now have our lifeguard tip of the day. I'm going to you back, Bob. I guess it's come to save you. And now, boys and girls, it's quiz time. So I would like you to take out your Bibles and turn to Matthew chapter 1, verse 1 to 25. Wonderful morning, everyone. Let us pray. Almighty Father, we love you with all our hearts. Bless all the boys and girls, mommies and daddies, and everyone who we love. Heavenly Father, I pray that this message will bless everyone's hearts as we learn to be more like you. Heavenly Father, I pray that you keep us safe and heal those who are affected by COVID-19. In Jesus' name, Amen. Yeah.